There were some tense exchanges this afternoon between Donald Trump's lawyer and the prosecution's star witness, Michael Cohen. The defense began its cross-examination of Cohen at Trump's hush money trial in New York. Cohen is Trump's former lawyer and fixer and a key figure in the scheme to pay off adult film star Stormy Daniels in order to keep quiet about her alleged affair with the former president. Journalist Sally Patterson is outside the courthouse in New York with more on today's cross-examination. Donald Trump's team have been waiting for their chance to really have a go at Michael Cohen, who's now been on the stand for almost two full days, and they have really jumped right in. There has been a very quick fire round of questions from Trump's attorneys, and actually the prosecution has been objecting to many of those questions. Judge Juan Marchano, overseeing this case, has actually allowed many of those objections. We're hearing that the jury is literally looking from prosecution to defense to uh, Michael Cohen and back and forth as this is so quick fire as it unravels in front of us. Now, what the defense is really questioning Cohen on at the moment is his relationship with Donald Trump at the time and how that has changed and how his story about that relationship has changed over the years. The defense asked Cohen, uh, did you once refer to Donald Trump's family as your surrogate family. And Michael Cohen, who was once Trump's fixer and lawyer, has said correct. He said, though, that he was knee-deep into the cult of Donald Trump at the time. What we've been seeing is this relationship between the pair turned sour over the years, with Michael Cohen then taking to social media and media interviews in recent years to really try and antagonize Trump, particularly as this case has kicked off. He's actually been asked by the judge uh, since the case began to put a stop to some of those attacks on social media, for example, TikToks, where he's seen uh, making fun of Trump and even wearing a T-shirt with the former president behind bars on it. That was brought up by the defense in this team. They're really going after the witnesses' credibility in this case because Cohen is a convicted felon. He served time behind bars for campaign violation uh, felonies of his own. And the, def uh, the defence in this case are really going to try and undermine whether he's a valid witness at all and turn the jury away from him. Yes, yeah, so Sally, the prosecution wrapped up its questioning of Cohen earlier today. Can you take us through what happened there? Well, Jacqueline, what we've seen now is a day and a half of, of questions from the prosecution. This is a key witness for the prosecution. It's really a central, pivotal moment in this historic trial. And that's because Michael Cohen is at the very centre of this case. He paid that $130,000 uh, payment to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star, who we heard from earlier in this case in order for her to keep quiet about an affair she alleges to have had with Trump way back in 2006, ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Now, what the prosecution was really trying to prove here was that was under the direction, the explicit instruction of Donald Trump to try and keep that money hidden, keep it private. And the prosecution alleges that that was actually illegal. And Donald Trump has therefore pleaded not guilty to 34 different felony counts of falsifying business records. He's called this a sham and he's got his Republican allies with him here today in court who have said otherwise saying that it's all a ploy to try and keep him inside the courtroom and not on the campaign trail as he vies for the overall office once again. Jacqueline. That's journalist Sally Patterson in New York.